Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how to create an amazing tilt shift effect in Lightroom. Theme tune. Do 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 the leap frog, the leap frog, the leap frog, do the leap frog. Not much of a dance. Okay, so Tilt shift essentially comes from this idea that years ago you used to have a lens that you would actually have a little thing on the side that you would twist and you can actually change perspective so that you could do a whole building and keep it all in focus or you wouldn't actually have the perspective going on but you could also use it so you had these really shallow depth of fields. Now you all know Instagram and created those tilt shift effects, those faded lines that, that were really easy to make in Instagram kind of made it famous again. Well, you can do it really easily in Lightroom on your professional photos. So let's jump in and have a look. Now we're gonna use this image today. I believe it was sent in by Fernando who sent in this image a while ago for me to do an, uh, an edit on. Ricky Fernandez, I believe it's the same guy. If it's not, I'm sorry, but I think it is. So this is the image. Now, it's really easy to create a tilt shift effect. Remember, this is an effect. It's not really tilt shift in any way at all. It's an effect. But you just go radial, um, gradient, graduated filter, sorry. And all you do, you draw it for where you want it to be, but you want to keep it quite narrow, okay? So we'll say do it here. You want to keep it parallel, like so. And then you'll reset it and you'll make your sharpness to zero. Okay, and then you'll do another one at the other side, and that's the important thing. There must be on both sides, and you have the maximum sharpness down, then you'll just create another one with slightly more of a fade on it, making sure that it's the same, and the same on the other line here. And then what I like to do is maybe just do one more, which literally is solid. Okay, hardly any fade at all. And another one just here. And literally by doing this, that's it. Tilt shift effect. You can see the blur is almost instant, but it does have some kind of a fade. And if you look at the before and the after, oh, I've got the, um, I did other effects on it, but you can see back here that literally what it's done is it's just built in like an almost an exact wait for it to render, but it's built in almost an exact line from where the, the, the fade actually happens. And that's really what a tilt shift is. But then you can get really creative with your tilt shifts. And let me show you how. So I have built a number of presets for this. So I'm just gonna come down here into what I like to call my lens and lens focus. And I can go, for example, I can make one right in the middle and narrow plus. So it's gonna make exactly across the middle here is where you're gonna see the focus. But if I, I know that if I go bottom, narrow, it's gonna put the one exactly where we just made it down here. All of this is blurry and it looks amazing. But what you can also do is you can have it vertical. And that's what's really, really exciting. So for example, let's go here. We've got a vertical one and it's gone straight up here. And it really does help to add some drama. So let me find another image that I can show you and demonstrate this on really quickly and really easily. So let me just find another image. I want like a city image. Let's just use say this one. Okay, so let's create a tilt shift on this and we're just gonna go bottom, uh, narrow. There you go, tilt shift effect straight across the middle of this image. But if we were to go say wide, it might look a little bit better. There you go, so it's really faded in at the top and it's focused at the bottom. And it's that simple, okay? And what I've done is I've built all sorts of presets to allow me to use these really quickly. And I'm gonna find one more image to do this with because I know that it works on this one here. So this is a image, let me just reset the image so that there's no edit on this. Really basic image, but let me just add a um, one of my um, presets on here. So just to give it some kind of a cool effect. Uh, let's use this one, it looks great. And then if we come down here and we're gonna go for the bottom Narrow, so it's going to add all those across. There you go, it's added this amazing tilt shift and it looks fantastic. And let me show you. When I click on this, you can see it's the one. And if I go, oh, one, two, 
three. That, that's the only thing which is included in this, and that's how I've made this tilt shift. And then I can make it, say, at the top, okay? So the same tilt shift effect all the way across the top of these buildings now. But I love the vertical ones. People don't use vertical ones very often, but look how great that looks in the middle of this image. It really does look amazing, all using the graduated filters, and that's it. So that's how you create an awesome tilt shift effect in Lightroom in literally five seconds. Now, if you like this tip and you liked this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as I have loads of other tips and tricks coming your way soon. This was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com.